my shredding game might need a little bit of work, but it's not this guitar's fault that I'm an amateur. Let's check this thing out. <laughs> I found this guitar on Amazon for $169 and I couldn't believe the looks of it and I didn't have a guitar with P90 pickups so I really wanted to give it a try so I asked my wife for Christmas, uh, dropped a hint, sent her the link and said hey if you want to get me something this would be a great idea and I've been so impressed with this guitar. I mean just look at that veneer. I don't even know what it is. The Amazon description, uh, it says brand unknown, color, trans red, body material, mahogany, guitar pickup configuration, single coil, guitar bridge system, hardtail bridge. That's all it says. <laughs> so it's a bit of a mystery, uh, most of it. But uh, I checked out another guy who had bought one online and the reviews seem really good and this, this is a quality instrument. I think this is one of those things that uh, sweeps by, kind of underrated, unknown. Uh, it says they're made by CNC machine with computer programming. So as far as I can tell, they've got a really good recipe they plug into their uh, machine and it cranks these things out. And uh, you really got this, there's some depth uh, to this veneer here. Uh, you've got P90s that say Destiny CNC wound, whatever uh, that means. You've, you've got a 41 millimeter nut. Uh, you've got a satin finish on the back. You got the bolt on neck. You got the pass through for your strings there. The only thing I found wrong with this at all uh, you've got springs right here that are a little noisy. You can get a little bit of noise, but you could dampen that. You could put some duct tape on it or put a ribbon through there, or you could find a way uh, to dampen that. Also, you got a little bit of noise from uh, right here. Uh, you could put a hair tie on there, get a string dampener, and be in good shape. Uh, this is an IYV ITF 400. Now on Amazon, they have it listed as a TRD PRS solid body. Uh, I don't know if PRS makes tellies. Uh, I don't know what all those letters stand for, but this says it's made in Vietnam. Uh, and really, you know, you get what you can afford, right? Uh, a lot of people out there are afraid to try something they've never heard of. And yeah, you could be throwing away your money, but if you, uh, do your homework, you look at the reviews of other people who bought it, then you can know what you're getting into and, and have some real fun with this. If you don't know, P90s, are they sit somewhere between a humbucker and a regular single coil. And so uh, you can you can get a lot of tone just, just by turning the volume knob. If you turn it down, uh, you get a nice, clean, bright, single coil sound. If you turn it all the way up, you get a heavier, uh, gritty kind of uh, overdrive that uh, is more like a humbucker. So that's that's a really good feature there. So I I would give this a ten, especially for guitars in that price range. Uh, you you don't find many of them out there. I don't think. They do much marketing, their website, they don't sell them. It's really hard to find these, uh, but every once in a while they have them on Amazon. And if you're thinking about getting one, if you see it there, grab it because it's gonna go quickly. Um, you really, you got a good transparent red finish on the mahogany body. You got a little uh, binding there. The finish does bleed over a little bit uh, in a couple places. But what do you expect for $169? The only adjustments I had to do, I lowered the action a little bit. I was able to get it to 1.5 millimeters at the 12th fret with very little buzzing. Uh, the fret edges feel pretty pretty smooth. You got a little bit 
uh, that you could work there. Uh, the only thing, hardware-wise, uh, the frets do feel a little bit rough when you're bending, so you could smooth that out with some, some steel wool or something. The strings on it that came with it are decent. I don't know what they are. Uh, first thing you should do anytime you get a guitar uh, new is let's change out those those strings but i've been happy with these i did put a little fretboard conditioner on the neck uh it looked a little dry i don't even know what this neck is it could be mahogany uh looks a little lighter tinted than a lot of the uh, rosewood that i have it could be sapili who who knows <laughs> i can't find the specs anywhere for this but i have been well pleased with this so far let's let's take a listen If you want to check out that lick I was trying to shred with earlier, uh, that's a B Aeolian run. I'll put a link to it in the description. Thanks to Paul Davids for inspiring that lick. Uh, you can really, if you've got a song that has a B minor, uh, well, a B minor or any minor chord that it holds for a whole measure, you can throw that in with, with triplets and it's basically just uh, plucking string once, hammering on, and then moving up a position in it, and then moving up a, a string, and then another position, and then you're there. So I'll put a link to the that lick in the description below. There'll be a diagram that you can follow there. Let's check this thing out. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my video. I'm just a guy who does this for fun in my basement after the kids go to sleep. If you like what I'm doing here, subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Uh, if you got any ideas for future things I could do, let me know. Uh, this is fun for me. Uh, I have a great time doing this. So, hey, have fun. Keep playing. <laughs>